Say, old girl. Why don't you take me for a nice walk? I think Lois wishes to be alone. Well, Missy. Hey, ho, and Uncle. What a thing, eh? I don't know what the world's coming to. Where's your gallant soldier? He seems to be fond of you. Hmm. Uh, his regiment might be moving up to Carlo. Not far, of course, but still. You'd miss them. You'd miss the tennis and so on. Others would come. You're sure? Yes. Quite sure? We just want you to be happy. That's all we want for you. I am happy. Good. Good. And stay away from that mill. Dangerous times, Nisi. good of you to come. I hope I'm not taking you away from your duties. No, no, not at all, not at all. Um, how is, how is Lois? Yes, oh, quite recovered, I think. It was a small wound. Is there any news of Peter Connolly? Not yet, but we'll get him. I was told that you had him. Livy is beside herself, of course. She won't show her face. Fly this year. Oh, poor Livy. I'm very fond of her. Very fond. Of course, her people are not. And then there's the matter of her brother. Still, I do think these stories about her are too bad. Stories? Yes, she apparently has some connection with one of your brothers in arms. That rather dangerous looking man. What's his name? Captain Daventry. That's the one. There are all sorts of rumours, you know. It's too bad. Doesn't seem fair to a young girl at the beginning of her life to have her name cuckled. Don't you agree? Of course, her father would never hear of an... Of a... An engagement? <laughs> never. Never. Livy, you know, is, is practically motherless. But many people are motherless. Lois is. Exactly. And we would never countenance that kind of an attachment for her. But there's nothing between Livy, um, between Miss Connolly and Captain Daventry. He doesn't care for her. Oh. I'm so glad to hear that. On the other hand, Lady Naylor, I am in love with Lois. <laughs> oh, what nonsense. Where do you young people get these ideas? I can certainly tell you she's not in love with you. Oh, naturally, she's pleased that you like her. But that, I'm afraid, is as far as it goes. <laughs> she's spoken to you? My dear young man, I don't need to be spoken to. Oh, Captain Coulthurst, I don't want to see you miserable, but there are all sorts of reasons why there can be nothing between you and Lois. And one of them is... Now, you, you may think me dreadful, <laughs> but there are things in life one must face. There is money, for example. <laughs> I mean, you haven't any now. Now, have you? You're going to stop it, aren't you? Captain Coulter's do think. Would I ever stop anything? Besides, there's nothing to stop. I'm too poor and not, not county enough, or whatever it is that I ought to be, isn't that it? Will you prevent me from seeing her? I don't know what kind of mothers and aunts you're accustomed to, but how could you think I would attempt such a preposterous thing? Besides, Lois isn't even my niece. 
It would be for Sir Richard to decide. I thought he had. Yeah? He spoke to me. Ah, oh. oh yes, I... I seem to remember him mentioning that you and he had had a chat. You used me. You and Sir Richard used me. I'm sure all that Sir Richard asked of you was that you should do your duty. Is that not so? And from what I hear, you failed in that. Now, Captain Coulthurst, I don't see why you and Lois should not have a perfectly friendly, sensible talk before your regiment leaves. Now, of course, there must be no... Here's Mrs. Montmorency. Ah, oh, would you take these in for me, dear? Time for lunch, I think. You'll have patrols and things to attend to, I expect, Captain Coulthurst. Oh, Myra. Yes, dear? Um, it, it seems that we can't ever be married. Um, your aunt says that I'm not good enough for you. And I haven't got any money. Um, she said we should have a frank talk. And this is it, then? A frank talk? It's very hard for me. Um... The regiment's to be moved, quite soon, to Carlo. I'm, I might be able to stay. But I would need a reason. A reason? I want a chance with you. Despite your aunt, despite everything, I... I believe I could make you care. I can't... You see, you're everything. I know. You do? Then why can't it all be simple? This is an, a nightmare. No one, not, not even Marder. Gerald, don't stand there like that. Like... Like, and, and do stop fiddling with, with that belt. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. I was so happy. I, I was so safe. <sighs> when were you happy? What? Before. You didn't stumble on Connolly, did you? You knew where he was and you went to him. God, I should never have let him go. If you had shot him, I would never have forgiven you. I would have taken a gun and shot you myself. We lost. Both of us. Entirely lost. Gerald? <laughs> 